Hello students, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, we meet again. Um, today we were we were actually try to have our uh, meeting in class, but some of you send me message that they're still in the village, and. It's a, it makes sense that yesterday was the first day of Ramadan month. So today we're going to have online session, uh, considering that some of you might not be able to come on time. So um, today uh, we will have our online class and the topic is about unit eight, uh, transportation, so sorry. Uh, it's about finding, finding a job, right? So, Hold on, I try to admit. Um, who is this Indomiran Dang? <laughs> wow, interesting uh, account. Lars Ken, okay, you're present. Oh, don't forget to fill out the attendance in campus portal. Um, silakan diisi absensinya. Don't forget that, and also fill out the attendance list in Google form. Okay. So now I begin to show the slides. Uh, you might probably have read uh, the material about this in your book of the conversation too. So today I will, we, would, we would talk about unit eight, finding a job. Um, there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, topics to be discussed, but today, I split this unit eight into two sessions. Uh, the first session is today, it's about jobs in your community, uh, your occupation, the right job for you and looking for a job. And next week we will talk about part two of this uh, unit. So that's uh, that will be the beginning of the session. Now I'd like to show you to the next slides. Um, Hold on, okay, here it is. Um, so the next slide would be, uh, hold on, before I proceed further, can anybody tell me what is this man doing in here? What is he doing, dealing with a job? Uh, selling hot dog. Good, selling hot dog. And what else? Um, you might probably uh, trying to the best the best word to say is that he sells uh, hot dog and snacks. Uh, some people say hot dogs is snacks. Some say it's not snack at all. So it depends. So we come to the first slides. This is about jobs in your community. You see there are pictures in here. Um, I hope that you can see it in your laptop or your uh, mobile phone. Okay, now let's see. We have the first picture here. There are three ladies, um, Lady A, Lady B, Lady C. What do you have in mind about their job in here? What are they doing? Meeting. Okay. They are having a meeting to discuss about, about what? Uh, look at look at the first picture. So they they might probably talk about uh, their jobs, right here. So in this meeting, we move to the next picture. See there there are several places that you can see. Um, this is Salon Gino, and this one is, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Glains, Glains, and this one is Cafe, and this man is writing something. And as you can see in this uh, picture, there are different profession. Can you name one of those? OK, 
Can anybody tell me what is the name of the profession or the job? Um, which one, sir? Uh, you, just, 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 uh, just tell me any, any job that you see in this picture. Any job. What about uh, bus drivers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Drivers. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, what about the person who works in Salon Gino? What, what kind of job that this person has? What do you think? In, in Salon, what do we call that in Salon? Hairdresser, okay? The, the job uh, might be known as hairdresser or hair stylist and uh, all about hair, okay? This is saloon or the facial therapies, uh, facial uh, treatment therapies. Uh, so th they might have that kind of name. And what about in the cafeteria? What kind of job that it might be available in, in this cafe? What do we call that? The person who serves the food. Mm -hmm. Anybody tell me? In this cafe, um, do we have a list of words in here? No, I don't think so. Food surface, yeah, we, we can have food surface right here. So this is the food surface about in, in the cafeteria. Uh, you can say um, um, bartender or you can say the uh, waiter. Waiter is someone who carries the foods to your table. So that kind of job in cafe. Now, I give you for about two minutes to see this picture and try to name a profession that you can see in this picture. I give you two minutes. Here, in the second picture. Gambar kedua ini, kira-kira apa profesi yang nampak di sini? Gitaris, Good. Guitarist, good. Mm -hmm. A driver. Yes, what else? Writer. Writer, okay, here, writer. Mm -hmm. Good. Foot surface, sir. Foot surface, here, okay. So he, he serves people by providing food okay mm -hmm. okay so yes Rafi? it's uh my your, your voice is echoing uh, uh painter. okay painter good here in the middle of this picture painter good and uh what about this man who is standing here Save the park. That's what he said. Save the park. We have to protect the park. Who is he? What political politician? Yeah, politician. politician. A, yeah, we, we call it politician. Um, his job is to spread political agenda. So the the function of politician is actually to address important issues to people regarding um, it, about the issue of environment. So right here, you see Save the Park. This is about environment, okay? So there are so many people right here. And this man in particular wants to uh, save the park. That's what he said, save the park. We need to save the park. Okay, so from this to one, two, three pictures, now we move on to the list of vocabulary. 
uh, we have here one until 27 list of vocabulary. So I'd like you to read uh, this list. Uh, we try to call number one until 10. Who would like to read this? You can raise your hand. You can raise your hand, okay. Dian Hardini, and then number 11 and 19. Who wants to read that? Gina and Rafi. Okay, all right. So uh, now try to read, pronounce that Dian Hardini, number one until 10. Gina Paripuna is number 11 until 19. And Rafi Pratama is number 20 until 27. Please go ahead. Okay, sir. Uh, number one, agriculture. Uh, number two, arts. Number three, banking. Number four, beauty care. Number five, commerce. Number six, communications. Number seven, design. Number eight, entertainment. Number nine, food service. Number 10, government. Okay. We come to the next one. Is Gina Paripurna. Please go ahead. Healthcare industry, industry, law enforcement, manufacturing, money management, news media, occupation, office work, photography. Okay, good. Gina, now we come to Rafi. Please go ahead. Private sector, public service, retail sale, security, service industry, shipping, tourism, vendor. Okay, good. Uh, can you call again, um, Dian Hanini? Can you try to read number six? Communication, sir. Okay, all right. So actually, number six is not komu, but komu. Mu, ada mu di situ, ya. Yeah? So we have here communication. Yes, hmm, jadi ada komu di situ. Communicate, communication, communicate. Skating, seperti itu ya. And uh, number 17, try to read Gina. Occupation. Oku, okay, right. So some people call it Oku with occupation, Oku, and some say occupation. Uh, but the one that I often hear is with Oku. So it's Occupation, okay. And Rafi, could you please read number uh, number twenty three? Number twenty three, Rafi. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try to read number twenty three. Uh, thank you, Rafi. And uh, number twenty one. Public service. Okay, all right. So you, you, you're fine. So now let me try to uh, repeat this uh, pronunciation for you. When you go, when you, with your laptop or mobile phone, you can repeat that with yourself. Number one is agriculture, uh, art. Uh, number three, banking, bank, bank with banking, beauty care. Commerce, communications, uh, design, entertainment, food service, government. Um, ada yang bilang government, ada yang juga bilang government. So it depends on how um, you select one. Is it British or American? Healthcare industry, industry, law enforcement, manufacturing, manufacturing, money, money management, news media, occupation, office, office work, photography, private sector, public service, retail sales, security, service industry, ini, ini ada istilah, ada industry, ada industry, ada A nya agak sedikit ke O gitu. Service industry, shipping, tourism, vendor. Vendor. Jadi ada dua silabus itu yang pertama, van dengan door. Menjadi 
vendor, security, <coughs> excuse me, uh, tourism, a private sector, the private sector, industry, banking. Okay, so you need to really remember the syllable when you try to pronounce the word syllable. Yes, yeah? so jobs in your community. So this is very interesting. You might be able to have conversation about this one. Uh, the next one, your occupation. Let's we try to uh, answer this question. Number one, what is happening in each scene? Anybody can tell me what what's happening? Number one, two, and three. What's happening? You can use uh, this list of vocabulary, number one until 21, and then you link this vocabulary into the picture. What can you say about it? Hmm. What happened in scene one? Mm -hmm. Anybody tell me? Is this, um, okay. And what about the scene, scene two? And then scene three. Uh, what what occupation that they have? What is happening in each sense? Uh, okay, all right. Echa Tiara answered the question, but uh, through chat, she said nursing. Good. The first scene is um, the nurse is giving food to the patients. Okay. That's the way how you say it. The nurse uh, gives the uh, food to the patient. And the second scene, what, what happened? What is happening in the second scene? This one, what, what occupation is that? Anyone can say something about it? Oh, okay. Mechanical engineering. Mm, all right. But before I proceed further, why is everyone is so silent today? Can I bubble get and uh, is there a problem? No, sir. No, oh, you're just tired. Puasa, sir. Puasa, okay. Oh, puasa, jangan ini ya, jangan, jangan lesu ya. It's okay, malah kita yes, belajar, sir. kita belajar seperti ini justru uh, nama pahala ya. Mm, okay. All right, so the second picture, the occupation is, if we look at this list of vocabulary, so, um, hold on, it just said mechanical engineering. Yes, it's mechanical engineering. That's the field of the knowledge, but the occupation is, what, what do we call that? I think it's a, uh, Auto worker. So yeah, this is the second question. Auto worker. Um, okay, so that's the second picture, the second scene. And what about the third scene? What occupation that this woman has? Mm -hmm. Do you know what, what occupation is this? She's sitting in front of a computer, uh, answering telephone, printing 
a paper or documents and then she worked next to a copy machine. What occupation is that? Is it executive or secretarial? Which one is correct? Mana yang lebih tepat? Executive or secretarial? Okay. So, kira-kira mana itu profesinya yang di sini? Nomor dua ini, apakah eksekutif atau secretarial? What do you think, Anggun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my internet connection is unstable. That's what it said. Okay. I need to turn off a few things first. Uh, okay, right there. Um, so the third picture shows secretarial. So her job, her, her occupation is secretarial. Okay, so that's, uh, uh, that's quite obvious for all of you, I suppose. So we have answered number one, number two, um, what about number three? What shift does each person work? What shift? Kira-kira nah, shift ini siapa yang tahu? Apa itu shift di ini di di gambar ini? Kayak sesi gitu sih. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a shift. It's a pembagian jam kerja, sir. Okay, good, interesting. Mm -hmm. Pembagian jam kerja, it's a shift is actually when you um, split the office hours into several sessions, okay? Usually three shift. Uh, when I work in a hotel, I work in the first shift and the third shift. Jadi shift pertama itu pagi, sampai siang. Shift kedua siang sampai uh, apa malam uh, sampai malam ya atau sore. Kemudian shift shift ketiga itu dari malam sekitar jam 10 sampai pagi. Uh, that's a third shift. So, uh, what kind of preparation did each student need for his or her occupation? What kind of preparation? Okay, now let's see the first picture, the nurse. If you want to work as a nurse, what do you need to prepare? Hmm. Prepare, prepare ini apa yang, apa yang kira harus disiapkan when you want to work as a nurse? What do you think? Um, yang we... the first picture. Yeah, the first picture. What do we need to prepare? Nurse. Yes, to be the nurse. Mm -hmm. What do you need to prepare if you want to work as a nurse? Study biology. Good, study biology. Nurse like kimia and mathematics. Mm -hmm. Chemistry and mathematics, yes. Chemistry. chemistry and mathematics and what else of course you need to have license okay license you know license no sir mm -hmm. uh, license means uh, permission for you to work as a nurse jadi licensi license is the same with licensi or surat Keterangan resmi yang membuat kita bisa bekerja sebagai nurse. Jadi, if you want to work as a nurse, you need to have 
legal document showing that you can work as a nurse. Okay, now that's the nurse. Now, what about auto worker? Auto worker, okay. The, the next, the other thing that you want to work as a nurse is you need to have certification, uh, certificacy. So you are certified as a nurse. Jadi bukan bidan yang abal-abal ya, bidan yang resmi dan terdaftar di uh, di Kementerian Kesehatan. Okay, that's a nurse bidan. And the second picture, the second scene is known as the auto worker or cleric nurse. Auto worker hmm, di bidang permobilan ini sepertinya bengkel permobilan. What do you need to prepare if you want to work in this in this area? What do you need to prepare? Kira-kira apa yang harus kita siapkan? Mm -hmm. I think, uh, do we have options here? No, okay. Inspect. No, inspector is 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 a is a person. Kira kira apa yang perlu kita butuhkan di sini? Do you need a machine tools? Machine tools, yes. ada mesin, yes, uh, like that. And what about this third picture? Third occupation. What does she need to prepare if she wants to work as a as a clerical, as a secretarial, what does she need to prepare? Document. Documents. And then what else? Does she need to have her, her um, certification on computer? Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. And then... Um, does she overtime. need yes mm -hmm. or work overtime okay so the meaning of overtime is when you work more than the office hours lembur overtime meaning kerja lembur okay so overtime jadi time is jam jam kalau usually people start to work at eight in the morning because from seven to eight they usually have breakfast Eight uh, in England, for example, kalau di London itu mereka suka teh susu pagi, teh uh, milk tea, and um, apa telur setengah matang itu kalau pagi. Uh, itu itu mereka paling suka itu. So that's a British culture. Um, atau juga bisa kue kering yang pakai gula itu loh, kue kue bakar. Ini ngomong-ngomong makanan kita puasa ya. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. Um, so she needs to have the um, license as the secretary if she wants to work in the secretarial. So the first one, but she can also be called administrative assistant. Administrative assistant means that you have uh, someone who works for you to help you for administrative purposes. Now we come to pronunciation, pronunciation list of this vocabulary. I'd like to, to read, um, to choose number one until seven, eight to 14, 15 to 21. Um, please raise your hand. You can raise your hand who wants to read Okay, uh, other than Dian, selain Dian lah. Dian tadi udah. Um, okay, Anggun. Anggun, number one and just seven. And then we have one and just seven. And then uh, Lavender, Lavender, number eight and just 14. And Fala, number 15 to 21. Okay. Please go ahead, Anggun. Okay, sir. Administrative assistant, auto worker, blue collar, holler, certification, cler clerical, executive, first 
Sif. Okay, good. Uh, Lavender, please continue. Hospital worker, inspector, management, night shift, office worker, overtime, second shift. Okay, second shift. Uh, Fala Rajasa, please continue. Secretarial, self-employed, shift, third shift, underemployed, unqualified, white collar. Okay. So that's Fala Rajasa. So um, there's, there's one thing that I need to fix a little bit. It was when you pronounce the word uh, first, first shift. Uh, remember when I taught you about conjunction? Ketika dua kata digabung menjadi satu, masih ingat di kelas kita bahas. So you can call it number one, administrative assistant. Jadi seperti itu, jadi, jadi cepat ya. Administrative assistant. Auto worker, blue collar, certification, clerical, executive, first shift. Hospital worker, inspector, management, night shift. Jadi night shift langsung, um, bukan night shift, bisa langsung night shift. Office worker, overtime, second shift, secretarial, self-employed shift, third shift, underemployed, unqualified, white collar. Jadi pakai conjunction seperti dia di digabung dia dua kata atau tiga kata itu menjadi satu sekali hela nafas. Uh, seperti your occupation menjadi your occupation. Your occupation ya. Yeah. So it's So um, siapa yang mau bisa coba ini pakai conjunction dari nomor 1 sampai 21. Anyone to try? Oke, okay, karena masih baru ini ya melihat kosakatanya, so I'd like to uh, proceed to the next slides. Uh, okay, the right job for you. This is about the right job for you. We have 24 uh, lists of words, but I'd like to stop share here. We would like to continue to the second session um, because we have limited satu SKS setara dengan 35 menit. Jadi kita masuk sekarang ke sesi kedua. Yeah. I stop share here. Please join with me in the second uh, session. Thank you. Um... Thank you, sir. Okay, I'll see you in second session. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.